So how many people watch Mythbusters? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. That's the science show. Okay. What do they say at the beginning of all those episodes? Okay. Don't try this at home. This is actually called Newton's Third Law, and you've heard it probably. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. You've heard it. Okay. Part of the deal with Newton was he was writing in Latin, okay, and he was using Old English. So the words didn't mean the same thing they mean now. This is actually a really cool statement, and actually there's a rock singer who made a song about it, and she talks about love being an equal and opposite reaction, and, and she's, she's very into it, but reaction is not what, <laughs> it, it, it's not what Newton had in mind. Newton actually meant force. The old English word for action is what we say is force. So for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction can be written this way, which is that if you have a force, if one thing pulls on another thing, then that thing pulls back with the, with the equal and opposite force, okay? If I push on this wall, then the wall's pushing back equally hard, okay? Uh, that's all it means. So in this case, I'm object one, and the wall is object two. So I'm pushing on the wall, I'm one, pushing on two. This means two pushing on one. It just says, the minus sign says, I'm pushing that way, but it's pushing this way back. That's all it means. Okay, the other thing is F equals MA. This says force equals mass times acceleration. This means that, that if you apply a force and you apply it to a big mass, you get a small acceleration. You apply it to a small mass, you get a large acceleration, which suggests right away that we should start with our first demo. Okay, if I just take this hammer, and I whack this board, which I'm not going to do, okay? <laughs> then it would hurt Sam, okay? It would hurt Sam because all the force from this hammer would press directly on his mass. What's going to happen is I'm going to put a fairly big mass on top of him, okay? And I'll just whack it, then I'll talk. Here we go. <laughs> So that he didn't get hurt, okay? And the physics was that I put a pretty large force on that cinder block. As you saw, I broke it. Uh, I put a force on it. The mass was large enough that the acceleration was not so large. Therefore, the cinder block actually never really moved down into Sam's chest. Basically, it collapsed and fell apart before I even got to the bottom of it. Now, if this had been a bad movie, I would have maybe hit it harder and gone all the way through. But because I didn't, Newton's second law protected Sam. Let's talk about the, the third law, okay. okay? This is the one for every action is an equal and opposite reaction. I have here my favorite substance in the world, liquid nitrogen. And I understand this is your favorite substance in the world, too. What we're going to do is we're going to do the law of, uh, of action and reaction. They're going to put some liquid nitrogen in that cup. And I'm going to then put that in, in, in here, and I put the stopper in. There's a valve here that's going to let the gas escape, and I'm going to close the valve. And what do you think is going to happen when I close the valve? It's going to explode. It's going to explode. Okay. 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 So what did we see there, okay? So this, of course, is the cool part, right? We, got, we saw this really fast moving cork, okay? And what we saw was we saw the bus go. That's the equal and opposite reaction. 